It's green for a trailer on a spinnerbait. Oh. Is that lily pad? It's a pretty big one. You know, I felt the tap. I let it drop. The bass. Mm -hmm. They just keep coming. So I feed it through the two black and yellow halves. Hey guys, I just caught this about probably a foot and a half long, maybe. It's a black tip shark on a uh, big six inch live mullet. Again, the Strike King Bitsy Boo Jig with the net bait pack a trunk trailer. Hey guys, um, <clears throat> thanks for watch it, watching this episode of South Mountain Fishing. Today I'm in the workshop pouring some AP shads and uh, electric berry and I thought that I would film it because you guys really like the uh, hand poured videos and since we have this new bait out I thought I'd make a, a video up on it. So I'm going to plug this fan right now just to let you guys hear me better. And so I've already got my electric berry whipped up here. Get a close up on that. Great color. Awesome looking color in the water. And um, got my AP shad mold ready. And this is actually the color and bait that caught the pro staff member uh, Chase Kern. He caught a six and a half pound smallmouth on in, on Lake Cumberland in Kentucky. So congratulations to him. The picture is up on the Facebook of Big Boy Baits and Southbound Fishing. So check that picture out, it's an awesome catch. So, uh, instead of just pouring the oil in the mold and then pouring it back into the cup of oil I have, I decided to take a better method. I have a baster right here. And I'll just get the whole mold full of oil evenly so none of the parts stick. And then with the excess, I'll just roll it around, pour it back into that little cup. and. Again, when you're working with hot plastic, as you can see, the top of that plastic doesn't have much glitter in it, and it also doesn't have much salt. Once I stir it up, you can see the difference. Stir it up, the glitter really comes up, and the bait plastic is already heavier. Because of the salt, it sinks to the bottom, and as well as the glitter, it also sinks to the bottom. So, I'm going to pour this right now. I have my heat-resistant gloves on. Just fill the whole mold evenly. Make sure I get every little cavity. This is an awesome bait for stripers. Um, anything in salt water, use it as like a, a flats bait. Use it for some big bass in the delta. This is also a great rainbow trout imitation color. For any of you guys in uh, California wanting to get in on this some of this, some of this stuff, but I haven't come up with a swim bait yet. But uh, now we have one. We have an awesome rainbow trout color. So go for that. And, of course, I can put any combination of colors you want together. I could put cucumber, watermelon. Those two together with this would form an amazing rainbow trout combination. Just let me know and I can do it for you. No charge. So I'll just wait for this to cool and I will get back with you when it is cool. Um, the uh, bait is cool to the touch now. It's not not too hot anymore. And it's not, it's not liquid anymore. It's a, it's a solid. So... I'll always start with the smallest part of the bait when I'm taking out this mold. I'll make sure all these little flaps are up. And I'll just slightly, easily coax it out of the mold, make sure not to rip it. That came out clean. And then you just you slowly take it out of the mold. And then what I, what I like to do is I'll take it on a flat surface, just like this. And I'll put it straight flat down. Sorry about that. Um, I have to talk about her. And then I press that tail up against something vertical so it retains its shape. And that gives it the perfect flat back like a professional bait. So um, I'm sure you guys can see that. That right there is. Uh, I'll get back to you when I trim it up and I'll show you the finished product. Thanks for watching, guys. <clears throat> I trimmed that bait up. I got another one cooling in the mold right now. Just poured. And as you can see, this mold, this bait is. It's a solid size. It's not too small, but it's not too big. And once it's still warm to the touch, and once it completely dries, it won't be floppy like this. It'll be nice and solid, like a good swim bait that you would want it to be. A deep belly slot, um, a big boot tail, and just a heavy bait for a, a decent presentation. Um, all you need to do is throw a weighted swim bait hook on this thing, and you are good to go. So order one today at Big Boy Bait Co. Dot com. Thanks for watching, guys.